one thing that's not changing is our focus at Esri. Our focus is about you, supporting your work, helping you do your work better, and also advancing our science and our technology. I, well, I guess I want to give you a report card that we are strong and growing, actually accelerating in our growth. We also keep the commitment to you about strong engineering and integrating science into what we're doing. Two areas that S3 people really care a lot about is education and conservation. And we carry that out in partnership with so many of you and our, and our partners. We like this notion of being able to collaborate with you, work with you together to make a difference. That's kind of our DNA wiring. Beyond software, we spend a lot of resources in developing professional materials to support you. Lots of books, online training classes, training, and you can just glance through the, these. I was fortunate to read through the WebGIS book a couple weeks ago. It's amazing. And the Learn GIS lessons, these are all free Learn by Doing lessons. Take advantage of these. They're, they're very powerful. We actually also enjoy a series of wonderful partnerships with commercial organizations. These are some of them that are actually exhibiting here. And I invite all of you to go next door, I think it's over this way, where they're setting up a huge exhibition of their work. Our partnership with them is really committed to, to your success. That's, they buy into that, we love it, they're great partners, and together we keep pushing the footprint. We also enjoy a series of very special relationships, engaging with Nature Conservancy, the Red Cross, and others, National Audubon Society, to push these agenda items on. Particularly the National Geographic Society is one of my favorite. I happen to be on their board, so I have to love them. But that's not the real reason. <laughs> the reason why I'm on their board is we're partnered with them to advance geography in education and also do many active conservation work, works around the world. Education, building the next generation. This is something I know many of you, you who are parents, love. And we are very active in this program, both at higher ed, but also in the K through 12 space. A couple of years ago, we announced that we would provide ArcGIS Online to all North American schools. And that has gone very well. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of schools that are now applying this work. <laughs> to give you an order of magnitude, from September to December, over three million kids, three million kids connected with ArcGIS Online and were making maps. So at the beginning of this year, my colleagues and I decided that we would expand this to provide the same program, free ArcGIS Online, to every K-12 school in the world. Part of the success of this program is you, geo-mentoring, adopting a teacher, working with them, helping their kids. And we're going to see some magnificent kids this afternoon and some magnificent teachers that, that you could adopt or actually ones like them that you could adopt around the world. The second area of, of activism, we might say, is conservation. And here we support now over 11,000 NGOs that are active in conservation, big ones and little ones. And my call out here is to the Society for Conservation GIS. These are young volunteers. You do amazing, amazing work helping other NGOs carry out this mission. I want to close my session with a couple of quotations. This first one credited to Charles Darwin. It's not the strongest of species that survive nor the most intelligent, but the ones that are most responsive to change. And ladies and gentlemen, we are exponentially changing our world. We're creating many problems, some would say threatening our very life support system. From where I stand, I think we need to transform how we understand the world 
and how we carry out our responsibilities in that domain. And you, particularly in this room, have an amazing responsibility to take that on. I think GIS and your field are the best platforms to be able to rapidly scale our collective work in doing it. And I think my vision, my sense is that our collective success in, in applying this technology will help us create and inspire what's next. A better future. Yeah. Uh.